Hello, my bitty bees. Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another skincare review, and this one is on a kind of different product. I've never used this brand, and if you can tell by the title, it is a video that is kindly in collaboration with Yes Style, where you can order a lot of Korean cosmetics in a different variety there, and not only Korean, you can get like a ton of stuff. Yes Style actually is the very first website I ever ordered my first Korean skincare products on back in, I want to say like 2013, when I first started doing like YouTube casually as like a hobby or a fun little activity. But anyway, they have a crazy selection and I've always been like into it, into the website for fashion and beauty. But anyway, enough of that. This product I'm reviewing today is a first serum. And you may be wondering like, what is a first serum? What, what does that even mean? Essentially, a first serum is a product that you use after a toner and it is similar to that of a serum, only it's more closely linked to a toner so not only does it have the benefits that a serum would have but it also has the benefits that a toner would have that's how i view it at least i know there's a lot of different formulations out there that can offer different benefits but on average whenever i look at a first serum product or consider buying one i've always noticed it seems to be a cross between a hydrating toner and a concentrated serum for some sort of treatment the one in particular that i am reviewing today is the aromatica beauty and safety rose absolute absolute first serum. Now, what is nice about the serum is that it's supposed to be brightening and revitalizing. Based on my personal experience using it, I'm just going to get right to the point. I've been using it for about three weeks now and I haven't seen a huge improvement in regards to brightening. For revitalizing the skin, I think the only thing I've noticed that's different is that my skin is definitely way more hydrated using this product, which is surprising because I thought the serum, not the serums, the toners I was using before, like the Claire's toner that I've always been using was enough. But when I started incorporating this into my routine, so not only using a hydrating toner, but adding this after, I saw a drastic improvement in hydration levels. And you'll see this in this before and after clip that I have here that I used with my skin sampling tester analyzer you guys keep asking me in the comment section i keep forgetting to add a link to it in the description box this i got on amazon you can get them really affordable they're like 30 bucks 20 bucks canadian really affordable and it helps you just kind of gauge if your skincare product is doing what you want it to be doing now when i did test the skin before and after using this i did notice that the hydration was boosted like it really rose the hydration of my skin up the first serum when I applied it and it also helped reduce the oil on my skin which was interesting so that's why I see this kind of as a mix between a serum and a toner because it did help reduce oil but it also boosted hydration drastically so in regards to revitalizing the skin I guess that's what I would say it does for revitalizing in regards to brightening I haven't seen any difference but I freaking freaking love the texture you guys it is so it's so hydrating like it's it's like it's just nice it's watery but not too watery it's not thick like there's some hydrating products out there that like i don't know it think of decem like when i use a decem product i'm like Okay, awesome. It does the job, but it they're all so tacky in my experience, but this one's nice and liquidy, but it still has that feeling of leaving a veil of moisture over the skin, if that makes sense. Plus, what <laughs> makes it amazing is that it smells like roses because it has rose in it, rose water. It just smells, it smells like a romantic dream. I love it. I really love it. It uses a high amount of Bulgarian rose extract, which I love, and it also claims to have a super berry complex in it, which is a complex of nutrition and antioxidants, so I guess that's where the brightening aspect will come into play, as well as the rose essence, but for me, I've never seen any kind of benefit using rose products on my skin. That's why I don't really share them on my channel because I, for one, like my skin just doesn't do anything with it. I mean, it feels nice and it smells nice, but I've never experienced a brightening experience from a rose product. 
in regards to the brightening, I think you might just have that illuminated effect because it's so hydrating and nourishing for the skin, which I 100% agree to. Like the analyzer says it all. Is it worth your money? I think yes. If you're someone like me and you have really dehydrated dry skin, I think this is a great addition to a skincare routine. I wouldn't say it's going to revolutionize your routine, but I think if you struggle like me with maintaining moisture in the skin with keeping your skin filled with hydration and water this is something to add because i'm constantly dehydrated even though i drink like a ton of water so i think this is a good one to include in your routine especially if you get clogged pores because it's lightweight it's not going to clog your pores it's not going to feel heavy on the skin and it's going to give you the hydration that you need and the nourishment that your dry skin needs plus it's it's lightweight you can use it in the summer you can use it all year it's nice so yeah, if you guys like this product, then check it out on Yes Style. I'll have it linked in the description box down below. There's also a coupon code for you guys. So if you want to get a little discount on any of the products I'm reviewing from Yes Style in this collaboration, I got you. I got you covered. So yeah, check it out. Anyway, if you want to see more review videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Thumbs up this video. And of course, also let me know if you've tried this brand before, because this is my first time trying the brand and I actually really, really like it. Like I, I was impressed by this one product that I've, I've had the opportunity to test out. So yeah, frick, it smells so good, you guys. It smells so good. Anyway, I'll see you next time.